Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk Google Slides and all of the different ways you can add media and charts and graphs and fun to your slides presentations. So there's a reason why Google Slides has become a very popular tool of choice amongst education circles, and it's because of its flexibility and versatility. You're pretty much unlimited in what you can add to a slides presentation. Audio, video, text, images, charts, graphs, and even charts and graphs you've created in Excel or Google Sheets. Um, you can even add in lots of different links to other resources too. So it makes it a really great place for one-stop shop for you adding all of your elements and items here so students can jump from the Google Slides presentation to anywhere else and it becomes a great landing page for that. But it's also great to put in all of these different options on Google Slides to make your environment more universally designed and supporting different student needs. Google Slides supports all of these different options, which makes your slides more universally designed by providing multiple means of representation, which is an important piece of the universal design for learning instructional framework. So if we're wanting to add in all of these different pieces into our Google Slides presentation, all the magic really happens from the insert menu. Now, some of these different choices are here on this little toolbar, but insert is where you have the most options. So if I go to insert, I can insert a picture. I can upload one from my computer if I have one saved. I can do a quick Google search for images here. And just know that the pictures that show up here are a little bit more filtered than your standard Google search. They're licensed for reuse and are pretty much a better choice than just going to a traditional Google search and finding them there. I can also take a picture from my Google Photos if I use that feature. I can add one from a URL or I can even take a picture of myself right now or use my webcam to capture a picture and insert that really quickly. This is really great if you're having students who are using Google Slides to show their work on a project. Maybe they did something on paper and you want them to submit that digitally still. They could hold it up to their camera on their Chromebook or their device and take a picture pretty quickly. So that is how you can add pictures and you can resize and make them linkable and all that good stuff. You can also add it from a little picture button on this editing toolbar here. Other options include text boxes. So I can add more text if I would like, and I have all these different font options up here. I can also insert audio. Now I will say Google Slides does not have its own native audio recording tool. So you will have to record your audio elsewhere and then upload it to Google Drive and then insert it from Google Slides. So if you notice here, I have some audio recordings that I've made. If you're looking for some great tools to do that, voice notes on Read and Write for Google Chrome is an option. Moat, M-O-T-E, is a great option. There are some limitations on the free and the paid version, but you can use that to quickly add audio within Google Slides in a couple of clicks, which is pretty great. Another few free options are Vocaroo is another website. You can save it as an audio file, MP4, and then upload it here. Um, and then a free online voice recorder is another. Just know that with any of those audio recordings, it's helpful to check the user agreements and permissions and what data they're collecting if you intend to use it with students and make sure that it's not going to be something that requires them to be age 13. So I know Moat requires some different user agreements before you can use it, but it is a pretty flexible tool. So if I wanted to add my audio, I do have to have it saved in Google Drive first, whether it's someone who shared it with me or it's in a shared drive or my own, I can easily find it and upload it here. And then it just pops up as a little audio recording right here. And I can listen to it and it takes, this one takes it out to a different link in my Google Drive so I can listen to it there, but I can move it around if I need to. And I have some options here on when I want it to play automatically or when someone clicks it. So great choices there. It's great to add in audio for instructions. I think this would be really helpful if you have a sub and you're having students go through an activity, you can add your voice so they understand what's going on. It's also just great if you wanna give that additional option for um, audio and written text for your students so they can have that choice and read with their ears if that's what they need. You can also add in video into Google Slides as well. So because YouTube and Google are partnered and they're all in the same family of tools, you can search through YouTube and add them into a different Google Slides presentation right here if you need to. Just know that it embeds it and then you have control over when you want it to play. You can add a video by URL. And then also if you have videos in your Google Drive, you can automatically add those. So I'm going to add one here. All right. So I can select, add that in if I would like, move it over here and it's all embedded. I can decide when that plays manually, automatically, if someone clicks it 
and can configure the start and endpoint on that as well. If I insert again, I can do shapes and those shapes also support text being written in them. So if I wanted to add a text box here and say, watch this video, I can just double click and it makes it something I can type in. I can also add in a table if I would like. So tables are great for notes and organizing content in a more organized, easy, quickly to digest with your eyes option. I can also add charts. You can pull charts from Google Sheets if you already have them created there. Um, and that's a different option that's kind of nice. Or you can build them right here and just plug in your data. I can do a diagram. So this is kind of like those smart charts that you might see in Microsoft Word. I can pull those in. If I add in one of these, I can decide how many different areas it has. And there's some templates here and I can adjust the colors after I add them in. And those do have text boxes too. So you don't have to go in and add your own text boxes as you go. There's the wonderful word art here. So you do have word art, which was something that was in Microsoft Word years ago. Google Slides also has that. And I can add in lines and different content here to draw my students' attention to different pieces as well. And I can even draw shapes if I need to, too. So those are just some of the different options that you have in Google Slides. And if you're thinking, maybe I don't want to add any of those type of media, but what I want to do is take students to a website. You can add links virtually anywhere and everywhere on Google Slides. I can link text by highlighting it, link button here. The keyboard shortcut is also Control K. Open that up, just paste it. I can create a link to another slide if I had multiple slides on this presentation to a Google Drive file. I can link this text box. I can even link pictures if I want to or shapes. You can add them everywhere. So just showing you some of the awesome features in Google Slides. And if you want examples of how to build lessons and interactive like HyperDoc, HyperSlides types of resources, definitely check out the Fresh BCSC Tech blog for more ideas or check out the YouTube channel.